only a three-point loss at Alabama. And we know how good the Crimson Tide were. Jalen Slauson to jump in and get up against Jalen Withers. And the tap is won. Outside shooting. Bothwell trying to hit Garrison on that back cut. A loose ball back out to Slauson. And right away, he hits the three. Came into the season, Jody, is a 30% three-point shooter. Yeah, 11th year overall there. They've got to, they've got done a really good job of recruiting it to their level. Withers hits this jumper. The cards are on the board. Down 3-2. Everybody's struggling a little bit in the early going. It's cold as the weather outside, Jody. No doubt, but if you do that, then you just let Jared West take it to the bucket. He, I, I thought in the game the other night he passed it better than he obviously shot it. He hit a couple shots, but, uh, but when you're that wide open. Furman's missed five in a row. Hunter tries to change that and does it with the triple. As Noah Locke turns it over, Garrison comes up with a steal, tries to get it ahead to Pegues, but loose ball. Garrison comes up and gets it to Pegues, and a quick pass underneath the Bothwell, and he's able to score. There's Pegues in the corner, back to Hunter. Hunter, you can't give him the three, Jody. He's almost automatic. 22 in their first game. Three for seven so far tonight. An 8-0 run for the Paladins as they built an 11-4 lead. Samuel Williamson gets the friendly bounce in the baseline. The rim, but a pretty good look for Hunter. The cards are off and running. Faulkner, the lob, the winner, and he throws it down. That is going to give you a little excitement. Mason Faulkner the entire time. With a great job of just pushing it, get in the middle of the floor. And Kaylin finished it. And six rebounds in those four games. So... They're very aware that he can play and get another open three. 16 to 8. Furman cross gets the basket and gets the bounce. I, I think they can do that almost any time they want. That's what Louisville has been doing. They just have to convert the shots. They can get in the paint and get buckets almost any time they want. Bothwell, wow, he gets to the basket. Oh, takes a little bit of he might try to make it six or seven. Is, no, he's not going to get a look. Bothwell, six on the shot clock, five. He's going to try the step back three, and he got it. Louisville has 12 points. Cards haven't hit a three yet. Bothwell back to Hunter, and he'll dial up a three and bank it in. And they're still trying to find their footing in this one. Down 24 to 12, and West with the first three of the night for Louisville in five tries. Needs to be patient. Look, they, this is a good three-point shooting team. You know that. Tighten up your defense a little bit and uh, and, and see what you can do. Bothwell to the basket misses, but he with the foul. An easy bucket, and that's what Coach Pegues was talking about after the game the other night. Take away the easy ones. West all the way to the basket with a scoop. <laughs> Go ahead, everybody have turn. one. West inside to Williams, and he finishes with a left hand. Jared West playing that four game we expected to see from him, but at least he contested it. And you don't want Louisville to fall in love with the three either, because that's not how they're going to get back in the game. They're going to get back in the game by doing yeah. things like that. They're, they're, they're going to get back in the game by taking the ball to the basket. They know they've got an advantage when they take it inside. Ellis had Williams early in that possession posting up, but he'll settle for the jumper and nails it. Well, Ellis. Ellis will try another three and another miss. Bothwell is going to go all the way with this one. Into Jerry West, takes the bump, gets it to go, and he'll go to the line. And Faulkner with the rebound, and Faulkner looking a little better than he had been. He missed a lot of time with an injury this summer. Whoa, Withers from deep for Louisville. Well, with a chance to tie with a two or take the lead with a three. Withers will try a long two, and we are all even at 30. A great job of Louisville getting back in it. That time, Mason Faulkner. The first shot of the game, but can't get that one to go. Oh, what a pass! Faulkner to lock. It's good, and Louisville leads 32 to 30. And a spark. You see it comes in spurts like this. Defensive rebound, offensive assist. He'll score in a minute. That was the first basket of the game, first points of the game for Locke, but Heen answers with the trip. Furman's back in front by Warren. Locke for three from the corner, got it! Anderson, the easy back door, and for the cards, Bothwell, Hunter, Heen, Slauson, and Garrison for the Paladins. Nice cut by Locke. He has caught fire. Seven quick points for Noah Locke. Bothwell gets to the basket on cross, but can't get it to go. Williams comes in for the rebound. Oh, my goodness! Did he 
slam down. Volleyball what? spike there from Malik. Back to lock it. I thought he was going to fire it up. He does. He does. Make it nine in a row. No, and when you got you it going. Like you. With two turnovers. Sloss is guarded by Withers. and He drives in and Withers with the big rejection. Can't get it to go. Garrison from the corner, and he's able to hit the three. And I feel like we saw some of that the other night against Southern as well. 9-1 run for the Paladins. And... A miss at the rim by Hunter, and Withers comes down with it. Lock, another try. Three, and this one goes. And... Mason Faulkner took that charge just before the break. Louisville with a chance to go back in front. Faulkner, Lock, Williams. Oh, what a pass! That was a highlight reel right there. That's twice tonight. Bothwell, the three and the answer. And just like that. His mistake on the defensive and then left Bothwell wide open. Bothwell in the paint again. Gets it to go. He gets fouled and he'll go to the line to try and click increase. Withers for three, got it, and Louisville's back in front by one. To lock a one-point Louisville lead, under seven minutes to play. 18 on the shot clock, locks three is good. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hunter guarded by Davis, Carts have shut down Hunter after three early threes. Keen all the way to the basket for an easy two, and they have not been able to get Hunter shots. Here's Slauson to Bothwell, and on cue, Hunter gets the three, just give him an inch, and he hits the triple. Here's Hunter, he hit three early threes, and then just hit another one on the last Paladins possession. Garrison to Hunter, he gets another look, and you cannot give him, because he's the kind of guy who can take over the game. He's, he's obviously hit two in a row there, hit three early on the back cut, the nice pass to Davis with the finish. Nice job by Malik Williams there. Good job for Mason Faulkner being in the right place at the right time. West and Faulkner in there together. West all the way to the basket, and he gets that one to spin in. To Heen, to Hunter. Heen all by himself, and they're going to call a block. The basket is good. Dre Davis called for the block. Withers for three and a Louisville lead. Can't get it to go. Slauson goes high for the rebound. 14 second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Bothwell guarded by Faulkner. Faulkner comes up with a steal, knocks it away, and it's going to be Louisville ball. Mason Faulkner. Bothwell closely guarding Locke. Here's West. Locke's three from the top of the key off the front of the rim, and the rebound by Garrison. And Furman can hold it for the final shot. Hunter. Looking for Bothwell. Davis denies him. Davis closely guards him. Bothwell's three at the buzzer is no good. And he might get it to Malik Williams right there. And Malik is going to turn and shoot. And wow, that thing was almost online. It was not that far off. Just a little to the right. And we are far from finished. We've got Furman in the last few years, an overtime loss to Auburn, an overtime win over Villanova, and Heen gets them. Garrison, a Drury transfer for Division II. A back cut by Hunter, and he's able to gather himself and score, and all of a sudden, Furman is up 72. Pretty good defense by the Paladins. Six on the shot clock. Locks free throw line. Jumper is good. Yeah, now Lowell needs to stop. I mean, that's just, uh, you, you got to... I thought he might have had a look at it. Five on the shot clock. Guarded by Williams, gets it into Heen. His turnaround jumper is good. Three missed by Hunter, and Rule needs to get something quick. Locks triple is good. Throws it up to Slauson. They'll dribble it out. They're going to dribble out the clock, and the Furman Paladins have handed Louisville its first ever November loss in the KFC Young Center. Bob Ritchie and Furman win it.